Well, I'm Shannon Casas. We've been members here, I think, for a couple of years. And we started fostering, I think, in 2014. Um, we basically, I, I knew that there was a huge need for foster care. Um, we have more kids in foster care than we have homes. And here I was with two extra bedrooms. Um, and then when an agency came to town, did an orientation, we went and just kind of jumped in after that. Um, did a full weekend training and made the decision that this is something that we could do mm -hmm. and it, a need that we could fill. Great. Um, so what would you say to someone who has reservations or maybe they, this is not for them? What, what, how would you respond to that? I mean, for me, it was something like I'd thought about it in the back of my mind. It was something that kind of tugged at my heart. So I felt like like that was a piece that you know God was laying that that issue on my heart in general. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you, you just gotta decide. You know, we're all called to do something for other people to love other people. Mm -hmm. So it's how can you do that? This is the way that this is something that I'm passionate about, and a way that I can do that. Is there other ways of people getting involved in foster care? Yes. Yeah, um, there's a variety of organizations, whether it's the Hall County Foster Coalition run through the United Methodist Children's Home, mm -hmm. or um, CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocate. Um, there's all kinds of volunteers. So um, how has being a foster parent, how has this been a blessing for you and, and your husband? Every kid and every case is different. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. Sometimes that can be trying <laughs> when they're sure. having a tantrum and you get so frustrated. But at the same time, like, they're kids and they'll do something silly and you just have to smile mm -hmm. and, you know, remember that they just need to be loved. Absolutely. The, the problems are so complex. Absolutely. They're not easy fixes. So it's, I guess it's really opened our eyes to see that it's a complex situation you don't know all of the background and the stories but if everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing and working toward rebuilding these families mm -hmm. then you can see success stories they're at such an age that you can make just a huge impact on their lives mm -hmm. so that's one reason that this ministry particularly appeals to me